Oh dear. Hello and welcome back to another video. Glad you're here. Uh, today I'm going to do a couple of small projects using a uh, deer antler. Um, it's a very, very hard, very dense material. I'm going to be making a necklace pendant. Uh, I guess technically I'm going to be making two necklace pendants. Uh, one's going to be, uh, I'm going to use the end of this piece, the end of the antler, the base of it, where it has this uh, extra ring around it. And basically what I'm going to do is kind of dome this over and shape this over here. And it'll be cut off right behind here. And then uh, drill a hole in it. And put a, uh, put a jump ring in it for a necklace. And then I'm going to be taking this little section of deer antler. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is going to sand it down flat on both sides. Make it parallel, even and everything. Uh, and then I'm going to draw a cross on it. Just a... Uh, kind of use a pencil draw draw the outline and um, cut it out on the saw and then sand it down same thing put a hole in it and jump ring for a, another necklace pendant so uh, let's just get started take a look at that and see how they turn out all right so I've got the uh, piece cut off of here now I'm getting ready to sand down the back side of it and flatten it off before I start kind of shaping the top part uh, same thing with this it's got kind of a curl in it so I'm gonna sand it down and make this flat and this surface over here flat as well and going to get it down to the thickness that I want before I draw the cross out in it and cut all that out and start sanding and everything um, for the sanding anytime you're cutting or sanding this um, it, it doesn't. It does not have a pleasant smell. I don't know if you work, ever worked with bone or antler type material. Uh, it does not smell well. So make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Uh, wear uh, some kind of breathing protection because uh, you don't want to be breathing in, you know, bone dust essentially. So yeah, let's uh, go on and get this sanded down and keep moving.
right, so now we've got them cut down, uh, shaped, and basic sanded. Uh, the next step, uh, I guess actually, yeah, the next step will be to uh, do kind of the finished sanding. I'm going to use a 220 grit up to a thousand grit and uh, it's actually going to kind of see it they're kind of dull right now but it's actually going to put a shine on them uh, once you sand these down pretty good they actually get their own kind of sheen to them without having to have any kind of finish or anything so uh, let's go ahead and start sanding these down by hand and we'll take a look at them after that and then put the holes in them and the jump rings and they'll be ready for a necklace you can kind of see if I get it in the light right yeah you can kind of see it has its own shine to it just from sanding it uh, same with this it's hard it's hard to catch it in camera but it's there it's a it's a, it kind of polishes it gives it its own kind of shine similar to what a stone would do but um, now these are pretty much done uh, the next step and uh, the last step will be to drill a hole in the tops of these and put uh, these jump rings through. And the, the jump ring will go through the hole in here. And then the necklace will be able to go through the hole. And it will, you know, hang from a necklace or whatever, however you want to do it. Um, I guess this could also be some type of brooch if you wanted to attach the hardware to it for that. Or, you know just anything like that uh, so let's get the hole drilled get the jump rings in and take a look at the finished product Alright, so there they are, um, the finished product, they have the jump rings in them, uh, ready for a necklace, and you can wear them, you know, wear them around your neck as a, uh, you know, necklace or however you want to do it. Um, pretty simple, pretty simple process, pretty fun and easy project, but, um, you know, kind of the, <clears throat> the options are kind of endless as far as like shapes and stuff like that, however you want to, you make your own shape, sand it down, do whatever you want to with it. Um, you said you can see that the uh, just the sanding even just down to a thousand grit puts a pretty decent sheen on the piece and you're of course you can always go through you know way finer grits of the sandpaper and everything wet sanding and all that and really really shine that up to like a high gloss if that's what you wanted to do but um is that gonna focus probably not I'll get some pictures at the end uh, here just a second just, uh, showing you know more details on them and stuff but um that's gonna do it for this one uh thank you all again for coming by and watching my videos i really do appreciate it and um we'll see you all next time take care So quiet over here. Hello, hello, hello. I'm an idiot. <laughs>